Andy Johnson, we are looking at the three cueing systems the brain uses to create meaning with print for reading. Do they exist? Some people say maybe not. Defining our terms, a cueing system is a part or parts of the brain working together to recognize words during the act of reading. Oh, there's a word. I recognize you. I know what you are. It cues the brain as to what that word might be. Now, there are three of these, the phonological system using letter sounds. We use those, yes, some of those, but we use it mostly semantics, the context or meaning to figure out what the next word might be. As well, syntax, which is grammar and word order. These are all cueing systems, parts of the brain is working together to figure out what that word is or might be. B. Now, reading is not simply sounding out words. Reading is creating myth, uh, meaning with print. Thus, therefore, hence, our reading instruction should reflect what reading is. It is a meaning-making endeavor. The human brain constantly seeks to create meaning out of chaos. It looks at the world and tries to create order. It projects onto the salient elements. Now our brain works most efficiently and effectively as it, it does not record reality. It does not replicate like a video recorder. It takes in and stores and codes only the salient elements and then our brain fills in the blanks. That's how our brain works most efficiently and effectively. When you see that uh, picture below on the screen, it's simply a white blob and a black blob, all right? But your brain creates meaning. You see a guy wearing a hat with a beard or a fellow playing a saxophone. Your brain is projecting onto the salient elements to create meaning. The same thing happens with reading. Now, eye movement research says we do not stop and fixate on every single word. Fixate means the eyeballs stop. We fixate on only 60% approximately of the words, 80% content or the important words, 40% of the function words, sight words, than, in, of, the. There is no perception without fixation. We do not perceive things unless our eyeball stops on it. If you notice, when you look at a picture, your eye is constantly moving around, all right? A series of different fixations. During reading, we do not perceive individual letters. During reading, we do not perceive every word. Our brain is stopping on the salient words and filling in the blanks. Sometimes there are regressions as it needs to go back and check and do some checkups and fix-ups. That's what happens. Eye movement research demonstrates that. Do we perceive and analyze words letter by letter during the process of reading? Does our brain perceive individual letters in order from left to right during the process of reading? Hmm, let me see. S, t, s, st, a, s, st, am, st, uh, am, stamp, st, am, p, stamp, 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 am, t. Stamp, stampede, ah, oh, that's what the word is. We do not go through that process in a microsecond. That would not be very efficient at all. It would take me a long time to read. Now, read the sentence below. Then look at the word below that. Notice how your eye movement differs when you see that same word in context and when you see it in isolation. Stop the slide and try that. See how it works. Notice your eyeballs. All right. I know some of you still don't believe me. Okay. The following paragraph contains 110 words. Stop the video at the yellow slide. Read the paragraph as quickly as you can and time yourself. Are you ready? Get your timer and go. Okay. You got it? Okay, moving on. Okay, now here's the bet I want to make with you. Do you think you can read this a second time just as fast? I don't think so. I'll bet you $5. Now stop the video at the next yellow slide, 
read these same 110 words as quickly as you can and time yourself. Are you ready? And go. Oh wait, drove and car. Is it even what? What? How does your reading fluency change? Billy was traveling from Minnesota, California, as he was driving through South Dakota. Pop of can a by and legs his stretch to stop rest. The words are the same. Notice how it is choppy individual, word by word. Why is that? How does your eye movement change? Smooth moving left to right, stopping very little, or letter by letter, more, more uh, word by word, more letter analysis. Why is that? The words were the same in both paragraphs. What was different was word order, grammar, punctuation, and context or meaning. There was no context to make sense or to create meaning with this. However, if reading was simply sounding out words, your rate, accuracy, and fluency should have, would have been the same in both paragraphs, but it was not. The implications unto you, henceforth there. Reading instruction and interventions must include activities that develop all three cueing systems, the semantic, the syntactic, and the phonological. And I won't be going over these in this video. Therefore, hence, reading instruction should also be meaningful, containing authentic text to the greatest extent possible. Yes, we do have some individual uh, word study, but we want to limit the instances of isolated word study. We want to use analytic and large unit phonics instruction to the greatest extent possible. The three cueing systems for reading, do they exist? Yes, they do.